MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the American League Division Series between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Houston Astros. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. The postseason is officially in full swing. Lineups and first pitch coming up next. Drawing closer to the start of game one, let's join public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2019 Houston Astros. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. And here's the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, Matty, they got to love the production they're getting out of the leadoff spot right now. He's certainly a guy to watch out there in this lineup. Everything he does makes them click. When he's swinging the bat well, they just go. Justin Verlander will do the pitching in front of the hometown crowd here in game one. What's your take on him Dan. Hey we're taking a look at one of the top pitchers in the game. This guy has over 200 career victories and he'd like to add another one to this list. This guy's been a really good pitcher for a long time and right now he's showing no signs of slowing down. It'll be interesting to watch him work in this one here. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitch and step to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. Leading off for Tampa Bay, the left fielder, number 29, Tommy Fan. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And the first pitch of the afternoon misses for ball one. And that's how we get things underway here in the Space City. First pitch, 107. Fam with an even one and one count now. It's funny. That pitch. I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. Two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. And this is popped up near second base. Altuve is under it. He's got it one away. Static trucker, the catcher, Travis Garneau. Her 
first delivery to him on the way. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Verlander is a guy that's able to keep the bat off the ball. That's kind of the name of the game for a pitcher, and as a starter, it really helps him work deep into games. Matty V, one of the toughest parts about scoring runs is bunching three or four hits together in an inning, and that's one of the things this guy does really well. He's tough to hit, and he's really tough to get three or four hits on him. That's one of the reasons why he's one of the better pitchers. Throw on to first, and Verlander's got it going here. Two away. The right fielder. Into the box now, Abisail Garcia. Here it comes. One breaking ball called just a bit low. Bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and a strike. Now this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now and blew that fastball right by him. is one and two now. The one two. And there's a base hit on the line. That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate, and this batter is able to fight and keep his hands inside this baseball and drive it for a knock. Impressive. Stepping in now, Jesus Aguilar. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Aye. Fastball at 94 miles an hour, and it's one and one. Garcia leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Rounded up the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And strike three called as he says, you got to be kidding me with the side retired. Ray's strand just the one. Now the Astros will get their first opportunity. No score. Time now for a quick look at the hometown Astros starting lineup. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Matt, you take a look at this lineup. I find myself thinking back to my playing days when I knew I had the ace on the mound. It had to be win day, and when you get in a car to drive to the yard, you tell yourself, even though you felt bad about it, just get two or three. All the pressure's on the big boy to have to execute, and he usually does. Look for this lineup to try and execute and score manufacture one or two runs early in this one
Okay, here's how the race set up on defense today. And guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. So striding forward now, George Astro. Springer. He'll lead things the off here field. in the bottom half of the first. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. He's going to have to make adjustment on that slider away. He can't just make it a non-competitive pitch and allow these guys to take. He's got to start that a little bit more over the middle of the plate to get that swing and miss on the outer half. Well, and there's ball two now. Count now at two and two. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. It'll be a leadoff single. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. Now with the play, Jose Altuve, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First offering on its way. Takes this the other way to right. Garcia is there and he'll bring this one in. Batting third, the designated hitter, Michael Brantley. Coming to the plate now, Michael Brantley. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fastball runs a bit inside here. It's 1 0. That's the kind of pitch that reminds me of many reasons why I wasn't a very good hitter. This thing was inside and coming in hot, and he just gave a stone cold take. I'm bailing out of the way if I'm in the box, no doubt about it. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And this is what happens when a power hitter is at the plate. You don't want to give him anything in the zone, and sometimes that leads to those tough-to-handle wild pitches. There's a chance they just put him on first now to avoid him doing any real damage. Here's the 2-0. 3 and 0 now. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put them on first. But not with the guy in the on deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. Here it is, the 3 0 is in there for strike one. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but. He may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. This is lined to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw comes into third now. So they're at the corners here with only one out. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had Batting to respect four. it and freeze a the little bit. Base they base. had to freeze there Dallas. for a second to make sure that line Dallas. drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base.
And that'll bring up the former first rounder Alex Bregman. One ball no strikes to count. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Oh, forget about this one. Bob Bob Bowie. It's up and out of here into the archways. So a three run shot to left center, his first homer so far in the series, and the Astros have taken a three to nothing lead. Well, they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball, but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason, so he waited, stayed back, and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. That is it. Noah Fielder, number 44. Into the box now, number 44, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. to shave the corner with that pitch but it's one and one and there are our umpires for this one working balls and strikes will be Mr. Daryl Parker well Dero Daryl Parker behind the dish and you ever really know what you're going to get from this guy yeah sometimes and I'd hate to be mean and say he flips a coin back there because that's not the case but as an offensive player you have to find a consistent zone you just can't two and one the count. Three runs already home here. Hey. Strike two called and it's even at two. Hey I love the location right there. Maybe that extra base hit was a big wake up call to get it going. Here now the 2-2. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it too as he crashes headlong into the wall. Gurriel. So coming to the plate, Yuli Gurriel looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A high fastball is in there. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. Two out nobody on. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes and that will retire the side. But three runs cross for the Astros on this three run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now three nothing Houston. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Curveball taken for a strike on the inside. Love jumping out to an early 3 nothing lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. The windup and the 0-1. 
Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, that's really disappointing for a guy that has wheels, right? All he wants to do is the get on base, base and take advantage Daniel. of the strength of his game, Robert which is his speed. But with a strikeout right there, you can't get on first base if you strike out. Standing in now, Daniel Robertson. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Welcome to my world right here, batter. I've seen this 0 2 count way too many times. Hittable pitch in the middle of the zone, you take one. Slider in the dirt, you come unglued. Now you got to step out of the box, you have no idea what's going to happen. Two quick strikes, and now the 0 2. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. And with two away now, let's give you a look at the big picture that, here. That, there you see the, the participants in this year's playoffs. Wendell. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. First pitch of the at bat. And there's a fastball from Verlander to jump ahead 0 and 1. Oh man he's got a chance to strike out the side on nine pitches seven down two to go. 0 and 1 here it comes. Off the plate and in it's a ball and a strike. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. He's one pitch away from striking out the side. But even more than that, to throw a donut up after your offense put up some runs, I can't tell you what that means to the boys in the dugout. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Down in order go the Rays. They trail it here three to nothing. Here's Carlos Correa now. Lead to he's set to lead off the home half of the Not second. Stop. One of the keys to Carlos. securing a win. They want to Correa. keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch on its way. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Oh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys. Curveball right down the middle of the plate. And for him to take that pitch looking, he had to be sitting on something else, but he should have pulled the trigger. Nope. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. Hey. Fastball is looked at for strike two. 
Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach-high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. And he lays off the curveball. Strike three called, and that's going to be out number one. Big curveball for the strike out there, and that came the after an absolute Robert missile said. of a fastball. Gee, Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. In now, Robinson Chirinos nope, as he lays off a fastball too nope, low for no. ball one. That one will get out of play and the count evens up with one and one. One out nobody on. And here's one that misses to the Houston catcher it's two and one now. Set to deliver on two and one. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. Now the pitch. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike and there are two gone. Two up, two down on strikes in this Batting inning. Nut. He looks really the sharp fielder. out there, guys. Josh. Reddick. Now batting, Josh Reddick. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Hey I don't know what happened in between innings but he went down that tunnel with a few of his teammates and some coaches and found a way to regroup because he's been really good this second inning after going out in the first I thought it was going to be a super short outing. That's in there and he's deep in the hole now 0 and 2. I guess he's really trying to measure that fastball in his first at bat but you really never want to put yourself in 0 2 count if you could do anything about it. Nothing in two count and the pitch and a slider called strike three as he couldn't pull the trigger and the side is retired. One two three go the Astros. They lead it three to nothing. Stepping in, Willie Adamas. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck the out the side last the inning. How do they get to him here? Really? I'm not sure, Adamas. Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Yanked the slider across that time laid off for a ball. Just missing here two and oh. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up even though it was in the zone. Outside three and oh now you do not want to walk the eight hole hitter it just opens up so many options do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up this is a huge pitch you can't allow this guy to walk and he lays off their ball four so the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three well that is definitely not the way to start an inning one thing to give up a walk but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming he looks a little thrown off right now. Now at the plate, Mike Zanino. 
First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Fastball too high and it's 1-0. The 1-0 is a fastball and off the plate for a ball. He's certainly searching out there on the mound. Five straight balls in a row. You have to take a strike as a hitter right here. Hitter's count. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Swing and a miss on the heater, and it's 2-1. and one. Little hesitation right there by the batter. There's great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Grounded down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. The left fielder, number 29, Tommy Fair. Back to the top of the order now. And up next, it'll be the outfielder, Tommy Pham. First pitch on its way. 0-1 the count. Guriel into foul territory. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0 1 on its way. And that misses 1 and 1. Adamas over at second. Zanino at first with no outs. And he pumps the fastball by him here. 1 and 2 now. Hey, if these guys are going to have any chance in this one, they are going to have to set their sights a little lower. You cannot expect to get the barrel of the bat to that baseball. That is entirely too high. He's set and the 1 2 pitch. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Three and two now. Still full, three and two. The payoff pitch one more time. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Once again, a three two. Hit sharply, but foul down the right side. Payoff pitch one more time. Arnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Now batting. Ketcher. Digging Travis. in to try it again. Darno. Travis Darno. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Swing and a line drive. Foul. Oh, one pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. and two count here's the pitch now a ground ball for Altuve could be two there's one over to Guriel for an inning ending double play four to six to three they roll it up to get out of the jam more baseball on MLB Network right after this Digging in now, George Springer, go. as we move Astros. on to the bottom of inning number the three. George Springer.
First delivery to him on the way. A ball. a ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strike. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. strike at the knees one and one Eight. called strike and he's behind one and two one ball two strikes Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on now the mound back. right now. That's five straight okay. punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. And this is hit hard to the right side. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Now that's popped up. Aguilar shading to his right, and he makes the catch for the second out. Now batting the designated hitter, Michael Brantley. So striding in, Michael Brantley. He reached on a single in his first try. Here comes the first pitch. No balls in one strike. A little bit low that time, maybe outside as well. The set and the 1 1 pitch popped up. Barehanded at his knees. He's out. Nothing across here this half of the inning. On to the fourth now in game number one. It's the Astros three, the Rays nothing. 